Maya's fingers trembled as she inserted the syringe into her arm. The clear liquid inside glowed faintly in the dim light of her basement lab. She took a deep breath, steeling herself for what was to come. For science, she whispered and pushed the plunger. Fire spread through her veins. Maya gritted her teeth, fighting the urge to scream. Her skin crawled, muscles spasming as the serum rewrote her genetic code. Sweat beaded on her forehead as she stumbled to the full-length mirror propped against the wall. Her reflection stared back, eyes wide with a mixture of fear and anticipation. Over the next hour, her body began to change. Her dull brown hair brightened, taking on a lustrous sheen. The slight paunch of her belly flattened, muscles tightening beneath her skin. Even her face seemed to shift, features becoming more symmetrical, more classically beautiful. Maya watched in fascination as years of careful research manifested before her eyes. She had done it. She had cracked the code to human perfection. A wave of dizziness washed over her. Maya steadied herself against the wall, breathing heavily. The transformation wasn't complete yet. She could feel it still working inside her, rewriting her very essence. She fumbled for her tablet, fingers clumsy as she tried to type notes on her observations. The screen blurred before her eyes. Everything's fine, Maya thought. Just a normal side effect. It will pass. But as the day progressed into evening, the dizziness didn't subside. If anything, it grew worse. Sharp pains lanced through her skull. Her stomach roiled. Maya crawled to the small cot in the corner of the lab, collapsing onto it. She closed her eyes, willing the discomfort to pass. When she opened them again, hours later, the world had changed. Colors were brighter, more vivid. She could hear the scurrying of mice in the walls, the hum of electricity in the wires. Even the air tasted different on her tongue, each molecule distinct. Maya sat up, marveling at her heightened senses. This was beyond anything she had anticipated. She felt powerful, invincible. She stood, relishing the easy grace of her movements. No more awkwardness, no more self-doubt. She was perfection incarnate. A sound from upstairs made her freeze. Footsteps. Someone was in the house. Fear gripped her heart. No one could know what she had done. The world wasn't ready. Maya crept up the stairs, every sense on high alert. She peered around the corner into the kitchen. Her sister Anna stood at the counter, humming softly as she poured a glass of water. Maya remembered with a start that she had given Anna a spare key for emergencies. Her sister often checked on her when she worked late. The sight of her sibling filled Maya with an unexpected surge of hunger. Anna turned, startling as she saw Maya. Oh, I was worried when you didn't answer your phone. I was just... She broke off, eyes widening as she took in Maya's changed appearance. What happened to you? Maya didn't answer. She was too focused on the steady thrum of Anna's pulse, visible in the delicate skin of her throat. A new instinct was awakening, whispering that consuming her sister would fuel further evolution. Maya! Anna's voice quavered. You're scaring me! Maya lunged forward, faster than humanly possible. Her hands closed around Anna's throat. No! A part of Maya's mind screamed in horror, but it was drowned out by a primal hunger, an overwhelming need to consume, to perfect. Anna's struggles grew weaker. Maya could feel her sister's life force flowing into her, making her stronger, more perfect. The serum had altered her biology far beyond her initial calculations, creating a terrifying symbiosis between enhancement and predation. When it was over, Maya stared down at Anna's lifeless body. Horror warred with elation. She had never meant for this to happen, and yet she had never felt so alive. Maya caught sight of her reflection in the kitchen window. Her eyes glowed with an unearthly light. Her skin seemed to shimmer, as if barely containing the power within. She wasn't just enhanced. She was evolving. The hunger gnawed at her again. One wasn't enough. She needed more. Maya stepped over Anna's body and paused at the door. She couldn't go out looking like this. People would notice, ask questions. With her new heightened intelligence, she quickly formulated a plan. She would wait until nightfall, use the cover of darkness. For now, she needed to dispose of Anna's body and prepare. As the sun set, Maya slipped out into the night. The world was full of imperfect beings, waiting to be consumed, waiting to be perfected. A chilling thought occurred to her. What if this hunger never ended? What if there was no such thing as perfection, only an endless cycle of consumption and evolution? For a moment, Maya hesitated. But then the hunger rose again, drowning out all doubt. 
She had started down this path. There was no going back now. In the distance, a dog barked. A car door slammed, prey everywhere. Maya smiled, revealing teeth that were just a bit too sharp. The hunt was on.